So today we're going to check out this Craftsman riding mower and let's see what we have here. The engine cover was already off when I got it. And the issue seems to be no compression. But you can hear air moving, so that means that the piston's going up and down. So we're going to look into this and see what we have. So we'll unplug the headlight wire. Put the hood back a little bit. It should come right out. So right here is your typical Briggs & Stratton overhead valve engine. This one is at 18 horsepower. So we're going to look at the valves. I suspect that there's a problem in there somewhere. Maybe a rocker arm came off. Maybe the cam is shot and the valve's not even opening. Or maybe they're not closing. So right here in the end is a little set screw that keeps this nut from turning. And this one is screwed out and this one's screwed in. They should really look about the same. Well, let's turn this over, see if these valves are moving. All right, so that one's moving. That's the exhaust valve on top. The intake's moving on the bottom. So they're both moving, they're opening, they're closing, but still no compression. And the spark plug's in here. So is it possible that there's a hole in the piston? There's nothing apparently wrong here with the valve train. The cam's working, the rocker arms are moving, and they're not over tight. So the valve should be closed all the way. So maybe we'll pull the head off of this and see what we end up with. But I don't see anything here that would indicate a problem. Even the compression release is working, which we don't really need at this point. Well, let's pull a spark plug out, put a screwdriver in there, just to make sure. So we'll put the screwdriver in here and verify that the piston's moving. Oh yeah, the piston's moving. Well, I guess we're pulling this head off what's inside there possible that the head gasket is that bad need a couple more tools two bolts for the exhaust pipe one bolt here for the bracket. That's all it is for a muffler on these craftsmen. And we want to save this gasket.
Now the intake, we can just take these two out. Now the head bolts. All right. I can tell someone else had this engine apart recently. So that's not a good sign. As far as I've seen, these bolts are all the same size. Now when we slide this head off, we're going to have some parts on the bow train here to watch out for. One more bolt was hiding. All right, now we got them all. We're going to pry a little bit. There we go. Now we got our two push rods. And we got this one on the bottom, this aluminum one on the top here. And I'm pretty sure this one's aluminum because it's going to the exhaust valve to, to help transfer a little bit of heat. But they are both the same size, except one's steel and one feels like it's aluminum. Then we want to take these little caps off the valves so they don't get lost. And they're both the same, so it doesn't matter which one they go back on to. Now we'll look at the head. And there's our problem. Valve seat popped out. So that is actually fixable. Take the valve out. We'll Compress that spring, take the keepers out, and we'll uh, take the valve out, put the seat back in, take a small center punch, and peen around there, put little indentations in to hold that seat in there. And that's going to be what put this out of commission. And if we turn this, there's no need to worry about timing. If we turn this, there's... There's no scoring on the bottom of the cylinder. Let me look at the top here. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel any scoring in there. There's no wear marks in the whole cylinder. So the, the cylinder is going to be good. It looks like the valve, uh, the head gasket was blown at one time. We can get this off of here in one piece. Not that it matters. I'm going to have to clean up everything real well. Yeah, the head gasket broke right here. But it don't look like this one was blown. Trying to get this. Yeah, I, I don't believe this head gasket was leaking. Right in here is where the Briggs and Stratton singles always the head gasket blows out right here because the head 
the head bolts are so far apart. The rest of these are fairly close. But over here, that, that's uh, for a locating pin. But over here, you have a lot of space. And this is where they usually blow out. And I'll move the camera so you can see, see the design it leaves on the, on the block. So right here, these black marks, that's from a previous head gasket leaking. And, and it blows out there. Then you get compression in your crankcase, and you can suck oil vapors into the cylinder. Well, when you get pressure in the crankcase, then the oil vapors go, go out your breather here and get sucked into the engine and it burns them and it makes it smoke and blow oil. So the, this head gasket problem is fairly common on these singles. It's not a hard fix. We already got to the head gasket in a few minutes. So that's what's wrong with this. It, re repairing the valve seat will be in the next video.